Is it true that the new era of warfare is no longer dominated by unmanned aerial vehicles, but by unmanned ground vehicles? There is verified research that provides a clear picture of the rapidly growing UGV sector. According to the report, the unmanned ground vehicle market is expected to generate revenue reaching 14.88 billion US dollars by 2031, with a compound annual growth rate of 14.22% from 2024 to 2031. These figures reveal that this sector is experiencing an extraordinary growth explosion. What is driving this? The answer lies in the remarkable advancements in artificial intelligence, automation, and the increasing demand for autonomous solutions across various sectors, particularly in defense, commercial, and industrial applications. Take a look at Russia, which is almost entering a new era of warfare with unmanned ground vehicles, alongside the mass production of the Marker robotic complex. What makes Russia confident in this robot? Keep your eyes on the story. Marker, an unmanned vehicle developed by NPO Android Technology, is ready to play a key role in modern combat. With extraordinary capabilities, this UGV will not only be equipped with advanced weaponry, including the Cornet-guided anti-tank missile, but also has the potential to launch swarms of drones, making it a highly formidable asset on the battlefield. As a key player, Marker is capable of carrying out various missions, from combat to reconnaissance, proving it to be a highly adaptive platform in today's conflict zones. The Marker UGV comes in two versions, each offering its own advantages. The wheeled model can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour, while the tracked version is slightly slower, with a speed of 70 km per hour. However, both models provide practical solutions compared to large armored vehicles which often get stuck in mud or difficult terrain. With its speed and agility, Marker is able to accelerate action on the battlefield and overcome obstacles commonly encountered in unpredictable combat environments. Army recognition reviews the reasons behind Russia's trust in this platform. According to available information, both the wheeled and tracked versions of Marker can travel up to 1,000 kilometers on highways without needing to refuel frequently. This gives it an exceptionally long range, which is crucial for operations in vast and unpredictable battlefields. Furthermore, Marker's ability to navigate water obstacles up to 0.8 meters deep provides a significant advantage in various terrains, ensuring that the vehicle remains operational in challenging environments. Russia is heavily reliant on the Cornet anti-tank missile system to strengthen its forces on the front lines. The main advantage of this system is its ability to be remotely controlled, providing exceptional operational flexibility. Cornet uses a laser-guided missile system, which, although requiring the operator to maintain a line of sight to the target, ensures remarkable accuracy, even when targeting moving objects. One of its advanced variants, the Cornet EM, has an impressive firing range of up to 10 kilometers during the day and 8 kilometers at night, providing a sense of security for unmanned ground vehicles involved in combat. In addition, Russia also utilizes the modular multispectral marker system, which combines advanced neural network technology with technical vision. This system provides better situational awareness for troops in the field and enhances precision targeting capabilities. Thus, whether in light or darkness, the effectiveness of Marker UGVs in battle is never hindered by time or weather conditions. As evidence of the power of this weapon, Russian forces successfully destroyed a Ukrainian Abrams tank near Avdivka. As evidence of the power of this weapon, Russian forces successfully destroyed a Ukrainian Abrams tank near Avdivka. The Cornet, with its extraordinary capabilities, is equipped with a tandem charge warhead that can penetrate armor layers up to 1,000 mm thick. This advantage makes the Marker UGV a highly significant threat, even to heavily armored vehicles such as the Abrams tank. In this context, both the Cornet and Marker UGV not only work together as deadly weapons, 
but also symbolize Russia's dominance in advanced technology on the battlefield. Currently, it is the right time for the Marker UGV to introduce itself to the public. What makes the Marker UGV so interesting is its great potential in integrating with future technologies, especially unmanned aerial vehicles. In the future, the Marker UGV has the potential to become a powerful tool, capable of launching up to 100 small kamikaze UAVs at once. Its advantages lie not only in the ability to launch these aircraft, but also in its firepower and far greater flexibility. The UAVs launched are also equipped with explosive payloads, making them a huge threat to enemies. With high precision, they can target enemy positions, supply lines, and vehicles with great accuracy, making them a very deadly weapon. Investment in unmanned vehicles, both ground and aerial, is becoming an increasingly relevant solution. With rapid technological advancements such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and autonomous systems, vehicles like the Marker UGV will become smarter and more capable of operating independently. This technology allows UGVs like the Marker to make complex decisions in the midst of real-time combat, enhancing the effectiveness and precision of attacks while reducing risks for human troops. This is why unmanned vehicles have become a highly strategic solution in the military world today. We must also acknowledge that new innovations emerging daily, such as the development of Russian UGVS, are heavily influenced by the dynamics of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Before 2022, Russia's defense industry had already started developing various UGV projects for different operations, ranging from mine clearing, logistics, to combat, such as the Norecta, Platforma M, and Saratnik. However, the introduction of vehicles like the Marker, Impulse KPTM, and Courier marks a significant leap forward, showcasing a major improvement in Russian UGV technology. This advancement is not just a technical innovation, but also reflects the substantial changes resulting from the challenges and needs arising during the conflict in Ukraine. So, what do you think about the era of UGVs? That's all for today, and thanks for watching.